anyways on to the video now this topic is very crucial for those who want to like succeed in life especially artists who want to improve a lot faster so essentially in this video i will be teaching you the terms of deep work and how it isn't same compared to hard work so you will know why uh let's call him rob at the beginning of the video yeah Rob, you will know why Rob spends 10 hours of work but gets a little bit done. So basically, you will learn how to train your brain so you can essentially leverage deep work to your side. And trust me, it is possible. Then later in the video, you will learn how to build an effective routine that will make you a lot closer to your goals. Okay, okay, let's get to the juicy part of the video. Shallow work is something that you do but don't truly feel fulfilled in the, at the end of the day. This could be like you scrolling through Pinterest, watching reels. And then deep work. So it is when you get into that flow state of a non-distracted environment. This is the state where you push yourself to your fullest potential. And this is where you see a lot of growth in that subject. The difference between hard work and deep work. So hard work, the term always is conflicting to you because you have to learn that your attention is limited. If you are able to perform deep work, so like studies have shown that the average people can perform up to four hours of deep work. And someone who is, that is someone who is familiar with the subject. Someone who is unfamiliar is usually around one hour. This depends on the person because everyone is, everyone has different capabilities, but on average, it's normally around four hours. Hard work is essentially good in a way because we use it to accomplish our goals, but this is where it turns bad. Like when we leverage hard work over deep work, like, you know, when those days where we spend like 10 more than four hours of studying whatever subject when we reach our max capacity usually around four hours our output drastically decreases so instead of 10 hours of quality work we get 10 hours of shallow work so quality work will turn into quantity and also your energy will drastically decrease the quantity could mean you have gone through all of the anatomy of the human body so that's quantity but when it comes to revising you basically forget everything so that's uh that's like the quality output the key thing is that we want to train our brains to be stronger against distraction so currently your brain is more weak to distraction First thing to tackle this, you have to understand that most of you can't handle boredom. First word is dopamine. A chemical is basically released into your brain that makes you feel good. And instant gratification. So you get that dopamine right now. For example, you choose to be on social media and you choose to get instant gratification. So basically, you're putting your desires first and don't get the things done. Delayed gratification. You get that dopamine later on. So you have to work hard and get the dopamine. So this thing is a good dopamine. You actually get the task that you want done. So what you want to do is start classifying your action. You sort of want to see, like take a mental note of every action and think to yourself if this is instant or delayed gratification. So in the long run, you'll be able to make better decisions. Essentially, you just want to have more delayed gratification, which is better for you. What people do is they start a task and then it gets boring. Then they decide to do instant gratification or a high stimulating activity that provides them that brush of dopamine right now. When you switch between the low and high, what this does, it trains your brain to become weak at handling distractions. Even the slightest hint of boredom, your brain or your mental muscles can't tolerate this boredom. They need something high stimulating. Which is why you see like how TikTok is ruining our younger generation's 
providing them high stimulating videos and those people who are and went to TikTok now their ability their ability to handle low stimulating activities like homework actually becomes torture to them our solution that you want to do just minimize the number of times you give into any distractions so by doing this you are allowing your muscles to strengthen now once you master this little distractions will become like nothing to you and you'll feel so powerful and in control. So your brain has more strength and ability to withstand any distraction. And the more you train your brain this way, you're able to have longer periods of deep work, which we use deep work to fulfill ourselves and it makes us achieve our goals faster. Now, the next point is that you want to adopt a routine. So first before adopting a routine, you want to set out your goals, then set out mini goals or short term goals. Think of what can I do today that will get me closer to my big main goal. So here's an example. My big main goal is I want to get good at drawing. Once I've got that big goal done, what we are going to set out our short-term goals so i found out that i lack a lot of things now it is very important not to get overwhelmed by the big goal and just think try to train your mind to think positively to break down i found my niche of art like i want to dedicate towards humans and creatures it is important to know the specific type of niche that you want so you want to get a niche and then you want to break down into like smaller niche like target your goals down so by doing this it will narrow down your options and get rid of the shallow work for example like why would i want to do buildings if i want to get into character into a character development industry because that would be like shallow work to me because it wouldn't get me closer to my goals so by doing this you're eliminating the shallow work and you will get to your goals much faster I'm going to lay out my short term goals and it will be like spend four hours of deep work studying art and complete an illustration every week and it must be human related plus creature. So that's some of it for just to lay out an example so you guys can see. Now you want to set a routine with your goals. So you can have you can have obviously more than one. What you want to do is set out the perfect day, the perfect day that will truly fulfill you. Now, sometimes life gets in the way, like you have to spend time with your family or go do your chores. That's okay. Remember that this is the perfect day for you. Sometimes you have to make room for other things, but this doesn't mean for you to go on social media scrolling through reels. Now, here's what my day looks like. This is a full day because I'm on a holiday right now, so when school starts, I have to rearrange everything. So you want to start writing it down either at the beginning of the day or the night before. Now this, this prevents gaps where you could feel bored and like you have nothing to do and procrastinate on social media. First, turn to a new page. On the left side, you want to divide your day into blocks. Then you want to assign your activities that will be filling to you and closer to your goals. For example, nine to 11 study art. Now this is just fake. You just wanna keep the left side clean. Now for on the right hand side of the page, this is where you get into more detail. Like for example, writing down each and every step. The first step is crucial. For example, for the studying art, I decided to study the anatomy of the hand from XXX, whatever art book that I'm studying from. So without a structure of your day, it's easy to devote all your time doing shallow work like emails, social media, web surfing, YouTube. It is satisfying at the moment, but at the end of the day, just you'll just feel sort of empty like, I could have spent my time doing something that will get closer to my goals. So with the structure, there is a high percentage for you actually doing it because the task already laid out there. You just need to execute. You don't have to like 
decide oh maybe i shouldn't do that because it's already written down so executing on the task will be much easier when you structure out your day now let's move on to rest rest is very important make sure you structure your day but don't overflow all of your time of that day with tasks you gotta have like these main tasks that you want to do that will truly fulfill you and maybe some overdue tasks so once you have finished all the tasks you need to learn how to shut down and not overfill it with more tasks that is isn't in your schedule so the issue here is that a lot of people tend to overwork themselves and you want to keep in mind that your amount of day work is limited and it's okay to rest once you have completed all your tasks. So you want to keep in mind that most of the times when you're cramming in more work is actually doing more damage to your mental and physical health. Usually it will lead you to becoming drained the next day. Trust me, it happened to me and to everyone. Overall, don't forget to rest. This is where you recharge for the next day. You're able to perform better next day. To wrap it all up, if you are able to leverage deep work on your side i promise you that at the end of the day you will feel fulfilled and reflecting back on the day where i performed my best it was truly satisfying and fulfilling to know that i was in control of my day when like some days were scrolling pinterest for too long i think to myself hmm that time wasn't really well spent and i could have spent that time better somewhere else so just remember that it is okay to not have the perfect day overall just try your best your future self will be so grateful if you decide to choose the right decisions and go for delayed gratification especially in this modern day where the demand for day work is becoming increasingly rare as well as increasingly valuable the few who cultivate deep work will thrive and i know you want to succeed in life remember every day you have a choice to do better well it's already been so long but okay so that is all for today you better have learned something new apply these to your daily life and i guarantee you succeed okay bye